getting back to work this Labor Day. That's the hope as those federal unemployment benefits expire. But our Tara Molina learned while they are hopeful, those facing worker shortages may not see the impact of the expiration right away. Tara, restaurants aren't seeing a, a stack of applications just yet. Brad, no, not yet. Restaurant owners, well, some of them tell me that they are so short staffed that they still can't operate at full capacity. These restaurants are closed, so this one can be open. Owner Sam Sanchez told us he has to move staff around because there aren't enough people to keep every door open. Back of the house is lacking. We don't have the staff. The Amazon took a lot of our employees. A lot of the service drivers took a lot of employees, construction. On September 4th, all federal unemployment programs expired, but Sanchez says the end of the federal extras, extensions, and help won't be the saving grace the restaurant industry hoped it would be, at least not yet. We wish, we want the people to come back to work, and the benefits are there, higher pays. Now we reached out to the Illinois Hotel Association, the Restaurant Association, and USPS and CPS because we know there are shortages with bus drivers and postal workers right now. We wanted to see if any of those industries expect any kind of impact with these federal programs ending, but no real answer from any of them yet tonight. Brad? Tara, these federal benefits did just come to an end over the weekend, but any more info on why these staffing, severe staffing shortages continue? Right. Well, experts say with continued challenges with child care and new variants of the virus and a really competitive job market could mean that some of this labor shortage could be around to stay. OK, Tara Molina, our thanks to get job search advice or to catch up on our reporting on IDES issues. Head to the Working for Chicago section on our news app. Search CBS Chicago wherever you get your apps to download it for free.